Hi, welcome back to Food Pantry Fine Dining, Season 2, Episode 4. We are going to do a really fun thing today that I'm super excited about. Um, when I got to the open door to pick up my supplies this week, um, I got in there, and what they do is they give you a bag of dry goods, they give you a bag of produce, and then they give you um, your choice of proteins and dairy. Uh, one of the things that came with the produce this week was um, bananas and a pineapple. Pineapple. Oh, oh, oh. Something about pineapple just makes me feel like I'm on vacation. I can literally just stand next to one and I feel like I'm on vacation. There's something amazing about it. So the other thing that happened was in my dry goods, I'm having so much fun. In my dry goods, Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. Jiffy was one of the first things that I started cooking with. Very simple directions on the side to follow. Really, really good. You can use it to make a few different things. Um, I didn't, I'm not going to make muffins. I'm actually going to make bread. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Jiffy corn, pineapple, banana bread. It's really easy and uh, you're going to love it. It comes together quickly, it bakes very quickly, and it's so good. So we did get some bananas as well, which I did let ripen for a little while, because when you do banana bread, you do want to use ripened bananas. With this banana bread, there is not a lot of ingredients. The good thing about Jiffy is it includes a number of things already in it. It includes the flour, the baking soda, um, uh, fat, and it also has sugar in it. But we're going to supplement that just a little bit to add to this recipe. The pineapple ripened is also going to have a lot of sugar in it as well. If you don't have ripe pineapple or fresh pineapple, you want to use canned pineapple, go for it. Just make sure you drain out the liquid really well so that the bread doesn't get all sloppy when you mix it together. What you're going to need for this recipe is one box of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix, one egg, one quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one very ripe banana, a third cup of milk, whole milk, quarter percent is great, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and one tablespoon of butter melted, and a half a cup of smashed fresh, ripened pineapple. Now remember, before you get started mixing together your ingredients, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 so it's all warmed up and ready for you when you're ready to put the bread in. I've already gotten mine started. So the other thing I want to show you is because we're using a whole pineapple, I just want to give you a quick tip on how to break a pineapple down a little bit. Some people have done this before, some people have not. Um, once you have cut off and removed the top of the pineapple. You want to set that aside. You're then going to remove one side of it, which I've already done. And this helps ground the pineapple so it's not rolling all over the place while you're trying to cut it. And all of a sudden you cut your fingers off and it's not any, then it's not a pineapple bread. It's a finger bread, anything. It just goes off the rails. Anyway, so you're going to remove the base of the pineapple as well. Set that aside. Then you're going to notice that in the center there is a core. You want to avoid cutting that core, so you're going to move off to the side, remove the skin while it's still on. This makes it a lot easier. See how it's already just sliding a little bit? You want to make sure that you are removing the skin of the pineapple. You're not going to need the whole pineapple for half a cup. You're only going to need about a quarter of it maybe even less than that, so about an eighth of the pineapple. So once you cut off a chunk of the pineapple, it's a good size chunk. This is a good size chunk to use in the recipe. Tricky with fruit because you can't really like measure it before you cut it up. But I would say go for a chunk about this size to turn into your half a cup of smashed pineapple. So we're going to break it down into smaller pieces. We're going to go into chunks, tucking our fingers, tuck. Once it gets smaller, then you're just going to hack at it. 
So it's gonna break it down into small, mashed up little pieces. And there's no rhyme or reason to this. Just keep your fingers out of the way of the knife, keep them on top of the knife, and just really chop up that pineapple. Awesome, that's it. Pineapple's ready to go. Now we're gonna start putting the rest of the bread together. So I'm gonna peel the banana. It's gonna be sloppy. Don't worry about it. It's gonna, you're gonna have to take your time getting the peel off a little bit. A really ripe banana is not the easiest thing to manage. I'm not gonna laugh here. I'm not gonna make any jokes. We're just gonna get the banana into the bowl. Okay, one banana ripe in the bowl. Now we're gonna add a third of a cup of milk to that. We're gonna add the cinnamon, half teaspoon, and we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract to the bowl. At this point, we're gonna to start to just mash. We're gonna take a whisk, anything works. You can use a wooden spoon, you can use a fork, you can use a regular metal spoon, you can use your hands if you really want to, and you're just gonna mash the banana and mix it into the milk. You want to go slow here. If you start slamming at it, the banana's going to splash everywhere. The milk's going to splash everywhere. So you want to move slowly at first until the banana is broken down. Once it starts to become nice and mushy with the milk, you can start to mix it together to help break it down a little bit. Done. Now you're going to add your quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Quarter teaspoon baking soda. Done. Mix that together. Now you're going to add your egg. Add it in. I just cracked my egg right over the bowl. I highly suggest, I highly suggest not doing that. Crack your egg over something else and then add it in. What happens is a lot of times the shell comes off, gets into the mix, and then you have your hand in there fishing for the eggshell. You don't find it. You still have to serve the bread. Someone gets the eggshell in your mouth, their mouth. It's very embarrassing. Crack the egg into a bowl and then add it into the bowl you're mixing in first. Now, with the egg, you want to really make sure that you've mixed it completely in. Perfect. So at this point now, you're going to add the melted tablespoon of butter. Um, I still have mine in the pan warmed behind me. One tablespoon of butter, you just warm it, want to warm it up. That way it'll mix very easily into the cold ingredients and the pieces of butter won't get all chunky and not quite mix in well enough. So I'm going to grab my butter here that I've melted already and I'm going to grab my whisk and I'm going to just pour and stir at the same time. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, just pour and then stir. It's really okay. Now I'm going to add my Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. There is uh, an 8.5 ounce box that I'm using. I've never seen anything bigger. They might make them bigger, but they're pretty standard. This is what I usually have always seen. So it's an 8.5 box of Jiffy Mix. If you find something that's not that, good for you, first of all, because I've never seen it before. But also, um, don't use that one. Use the 8.5 box. You're going to pour that right into your mixed ingredients while you keep stirring. You can switch out if you want to a wooden spoon, but I don't think it's necessary. So I'm just going to keep using the whisk. Now you want to slowly stir. Make sure that the dry ingredients is fully incorporated into the wet ingredients. We're going to add the pineapple last. So that looks great to me. The one thing that I didn't mention at the beginning is I am using a pre-greased non-stick baking pan for bread. You don't need to use a baking pan for bread if you don't have one. You can use a pie pan. You can use any pan you have. Just make sure that it's not too wide because this recipe doesn't spread out a lot. And if you use too wide of a pan, it's not going to cook at the same temps that I'm giving you or the same length of time. So it'll change the recipe. But 
If you don't have a good bread baking pan at this point either, go find yourself one. They sell them at yard sales. They have them at the grocery store. They also have them in almost every thrift shop that I've ever been in. And that's where I actually end up getting a lot of my cooking supplies is in thrift shops, secondhand stores, and at yard sales because people are usually giving them away. So at this point now, I'm going to add my pineapple. I'm going to use my hands. I trust the recipe that I'm using, and I know that I have about a half a cup of pineapple here. But by all means, feel free to use a measuring cup like a human being, but I'm going to be a little bit of an animal here, and I'm just going to scoop up the pineapple and put it in the bowl. Add that in. Looks awesome. Now I'm going to stir it. All right, so at this point, my oven is preheated to 350. I'm going to pour the batter into the bread pan. You want to try to get it directly into the center of the bread pan, and you want to make sure the batter is even. This is the way that the bread is going to cook. If you get it around the edges, it'll burn on the edges, and it'll also make it stick. And if you do it like really heavy on one side and not too heavy on the other side, it's not going to cook evenly. So I'm going to add this batter to the bread pan. I'm going to put it in my 350 oven and I'm going to cook it for 30 to 34 minutes. My suggestion with any baked good that cooks for longer than 20 minutes is to check it. Check it after about 24 minutes. Your oven might run hot. Your pan, for some reason, might cook faster than my pan. So after 24 minutes, start checking the bread. What we're waiting for it to do is to form a crust. And when I insert something through the center of it, it comes out clean, a knife, a toothpick. I'm going to put mine in for 30 to 34 minutes. I'm going to check it at 30, and I'm going to usually pull it out around 34 minutes. And I can't wait for you to thank me about how amazing your house is going to smell as you're baking this bread. The pineapple, the corn, the banana, the cinnamon, the vanilla. It is just a beautiful smell to fill your house with. And I'm excited for you to try this bread. I will see you back in 30 minutes, tops. So I just pulled the bread out of the oven. We're going to just test with the knife to make sure it's done in the center. Ooh. Um, be done, please be done, because we want to eat you. Yay, it's done. All right, we're just done. It's done. So now I'm going to try to remove the bread from the pan. This is going to get fun. So. You can put parchment on the bottom of pans too. Parchment paper can help with not sticking. Um, the sticking of something to the bottom of a pan, whether it be cake or bread, is a deep source of anxiety for me <laughs> because everything can go really well and then you go to take it out of the pan and the whole thing comes apart, which doesn't matter if you're just going to shove it right into your mouth, but if you're trying to make it look nice for someone. So what I would say is move slowly. I'm going to actually take this butter knife and I'm going to just tuck it around the edges of the loaf to kind of encourage it. To say, hey, buddy, come out of the pan. You don't want to break. It's good to be out here. Obviously, I've let this cool completely, too, by the way. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. Don't touch the pan while it's still hot. Let the bread cool off completely, no matter how good it smells, no matter how much you want to put it in your mouth, no matter how much your husband's bothering you that he wants to put it in his mouth. Please let the pan cool, which I have done. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to flip it over on top of a cutting board. At this point, you just got to say a little prayer, give it your best, lift the pan up. Yay! Ah! All right, so we have banana, corn, pineapple bread right in front of us right now, which I'm going to slice open and we're going to check this out. Have butter standing by. Oh, it is gorgeous. I can't wait to taste this. I can't wait for you to taste this. The smell of it is phenomenal. So again, this is food pantry, fine dining. I am Saskia Nugent. This is pineapple, banana, cornbread made with Jiffy 
Corn Mex. Let's dive in. Have a good weekend.